day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to do a super quick work plane and scale training. Uh, the work plane and scale are very powerful tools, and I want you to use them today to earn your way out to your modules. So what I'd like you to do is slide down through the basic shapes, and I would like you to simply bring in the icosahedron. Click on it once and then click on a corner. See how it's currently at size 16? I want you to grab one of those corners while holding shift and I want you to make it all grow the same amount until it's close to 70, anywhere in there. So you're just making a huge icosahedron. We chose this because it has many sides, which helps me with my work plane project I want you to do right now. So the work plane is right here, and when you click a shape, it determines where the next piece goes. So I simply want you to click the work plane tool, click the place we want to put the new piece, and bring out a silly cone. And then I want you to hold shift again, so we're practicing holding shift so it scales every size at once, and move your cone somewhere on this. So now you've got a unicorn eye casahedron. Press work plane. And then one of the things that bugs people is they don't know how to shut it off. Well, you just shut off work plane by clicking on the normal blue edges. Pick one of your front pieces, and let's put a smile on our icosahedron. So we click W, or we click work plane. Click that front piece, and pick something to be a smile. I'm going to give my icosahedron corn a Taurus mouth. I'm going to stretch that out. This time I'm going to just stretch as much as I want. I'm not going to use um, the shift because I want it to be custom. And there's my icosahedron mouth. If you don't like what you did, do control Z. It is just totally silly and fast. Get it so that you're happy. And then we need to give them ears. I'm going to press W and switch right to where I want the ear to be. And I'm going to make my ear with a paraboloid. Squeeze it in so it looks like an ear. Check it out from the side. I want this to be exactly the same on the other side, so this is really slick. I'm going to press copy. I'm going to press the work plane. I'm going to switch to where I want that copy to go. And now when I do control V, it shapes it the exact same way I needed. For the new location. It is an unbelievably cool tool for getting things where you want them uh, and in the shape. So it was copy it with this work plane, paste it with the new work plane, and it shows up the way you want. I'm going to give them two quick eyes. I'm going to put them up above the mouth thing I gave them. This I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the shift and I'm going to hold and now I can put his eyes in place. And then once again, I'm going to use duplicate. And I'm going to use the arrow keys because I like how it stays on the work plane. And I have just instantly practiced the work plane and the scale tool. When you've got yours like that, I need you to turn around and give me a thumbs up showing that you have this skill. And then you may head out to your modules and get to work on your modular technology training. If you want to play with this more at home, feel free. Have fun with it. Remember to shut off the work plane. You click the bottom. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.